What's up, old school homies? Let's talk about some basics of crystals and um, rocks, even glass meditation. Oh boy. I mean, it's a really deep subject, so let's go into like the outline, a few hard facts that I've <laughs> come across myself. I've meditated with rocks and crystals and glass for about an hour or two or three every day for probably at least a year now. And I figured if I slowly let my own interpretation take its course, I would have a more genuine perspective than listening to somebody else. And that's kind of like a harsh way to teach yourself stuff, but I always do that. I uh, find that I can easily find some of the bigger conclusions that way. And then when I want to add on finer points later, you can look to other people to explain them to you. But my crystal and rock meditation, I tried to take a solitary approach to it and not read any books about it, not listen to what anybody said about it. Just put the rocks in front of me and see if they resonated with me. And that's my new kind of thing. Resonance. Okay, if uh, I hit a guitar string. Resonates. If I put my eyes into a rock and the rock reflects light back onto my eyes. And I keep looking at it. Then we actually are creating a connection between the eye and the rock. It resonates. It resonates in color. And uh, it resonates in texture too. That's the secondary kind of thing that you see when you meditate with rocks, if you're just staring at them. Now, I don't know if you just want to stare at rocks, but I thought that's what you were supposed to do. So it's pretty intense at first. Like, I wouldn't recommend going straight into it like that. You'll get a headache from just staring at rocks. And um, it's fine. Just break through the headaches of staring for several hours at rocks. And uh, you'll eventually know the in interior and exterior of each of your rocks. You'll start putting them in water, looking at them in different lights until you understand them entirely because the more you look at something the more you learn how to look at something the more that you learn that you can distinguish more features if you continue to look at something so what what really happens as you meditate with these rocks is they come out to you in different ways say i picked up a red rock and i didn't think too much of it after meditating with it for a lot of times, you might think this rock is really intense, you know, it's very bright and it's very red. I don't know. It might be something different for you than it is for me. I like fiery looking rocks. I like red ones, uh, lava rocks, garnets, fiery passion, purple, um, this was a really cool one that we found yesterday. And it, it fits my personality to a T. I love it. That's just me. I like green rocks too. <laughs> Every time I go into the rock shop, I tell them if there's a green rock, it's for me, you know? Put that to the side. If it's really bright green, I need it, you know? Sometimes you can sort of imbalance yourself by collecting too many green and red rocks. <laughs> I see a lot of them right now. I'm looking at them right now. And these are rocks that I just picked up. I didn't buy them. And I pick red and green ones a lot of the time because I like red and green. I don't know. And uh, that's why they sort of break it down into the different chakras, uh, like purple at the top and then red at the heart and there's a rock for each of the chakras that's a whole different thing that people 
kind of to have taken away from probably Chinese ancient culture, in my opinion. I don't really know. But it's something different for everybody. I, I just lay down the basics. If you have all the colors of rocks, you create pretty good balance. Too many of one color of rocks creates a little bit more of an imbalance. You don't have to meditate with them all at the same time. A lot, of, most of the time I don't. I'll, I'll bring one to the side of my bed and only focus with that particular stone. Or if I, if I really feel that maybe I could use a few other stones that are that same color for a certain reason, because I'm more affected by color, then I'll group a whole bunch of stones of that color. So I, I guess that's my part one. <laughs>